Hello guys, so first of all, a couple of videos ago, it might have been a week ago, I don't even know anymore because I made so many videos yesterday, I said that I was going to swap out my Winnie the Pooh mug and I have, I've sacrificed it for this one which has Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Actually I may have mentioned it in one of my videos yesterday, I can't remember because I did mention that I had a perfect cup of tea, I'm sure I did. Anyway, I really had a great tea yesterday and this one feels like it's just about hitting perfect temperatures. I'm gonna drink it soon. What was I gonna talk about today? I remember having a lot of thoughts just before I started this video and then I got distracted by the mug. Today, well, the last 24 hours, not even, maybe last 12 hours have been really funny. Not like ha 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 funny, but a bit like strange, I guess, funny. First of all, I had a class that went on till 2.30 in the morning, so that's always fun. And then I started messaging a friend and we ended up talking, I think, till close to three in the morning. And we said we were gonna meet up today. So I'm really looking forward to that because I haven't seen her in forever. And the problem is, I again have those performing arts classes tonight and they start relatively early tonight. They start at 6.30, but she's obviously got uni work here. So there's a very small gap four to 6.30 that we're going to be seeing each other. But I did say to her either on the weekend or actually the week after I do have a break, so we can meet up then if you want. Anyway, so I'm really looking forward to that. That should be really, really good. But what else, it's so random, but what else was really funny was that last night, it was storming like there was no tomorrow. It was pouring down and there were big flashes of lightning followed immediately by thunder. And we were messaging each other like, did you see that lightning? And it was just so weird to be in the same weather area as her. Anyway, but I think I'm feeling a bit stressed because because I went to bed so late in the end, I ended up going to bed at maybe 3.30. I woke up a little bit later today, so I missed some of my morning. Plus, obviously, I'm going to be missing my whole afternoon. So I have to do everything I would usually do in like half the amount of time. But it's okay. I've managed to fit most of it in. So I'm not too stressed about the work I have to do now. The biggest thing I'm worried about now is that I'm not going to be back on time for my class. Because I told her 6.30, but my class starts at 6.30, so I need to be back at 6. Wait, maybe that's not right. Guys, my class starts at 7. It's fine. Anyway, so that's just been, like, a weird... I don't know, for me it's just really weird the idea that I'm going to be seeing her again in a couple of hours. And it's just felt like a very weird 12 hours to be honest because I think when you stay up so late and especially when it's storming outside and you're talking to a friend at the same time it just creates for a funny night because everything just feels a bit off kilter. But it's fine, it's great. Also what I did yesterday was I managed to finish my Disney video. Now the video itself is eight minutes long which is quite long but the original video I think was maybe 25 minutes long because there was just so much of me umming and aahing about all my answers but I managed to get that finished and done. I just have to upload it still but it's saved so I'm very glad about that and the next video as you will have seen is just a straight talk. There's no questions, there's nothing and I think the original format is maybe six minutes so that really shouldn't be too much work for me to edit especially after such a long video but then I think I saw that somewhere I don't know when it is, you will again have seen it by now, I have a lot of footage for one video. Let me have a look. It's day 28 and I did the box and it's a lot of footage but it's probably gonna cut down. Again, by the time you're watching this you'll know. It's probably gonna cut down to like three minutes. I have finally remembered the last thing I wanted to talk about. Heartbreaking. You know how in the last many videos I have been talking about my candle that I love very much? It shattered. What happened was, like I said in one of my videos, I couldn't find the wick. So what I did was I put in two matches to almost melt the wax to try and find the wick. But what it ended up doing was the flame was like right on the glass and I just hadn't considered that the glass will break when it reaches a certain temperature. I think in my head all I could think was like, wow, this must be like heat proof glass because it's for a candle. My friends, that's not how it works. So it died and I was very upset. So I'm gonna have to get myself a new candle. And I've got to learn to not play with fire. Speaking of as well, last night we started watching Mamma Mia Here We Go Again, again. And I love that movie. It's just so lighthearted and fun. And obviously I love Ava's music. Some of the songs are just not the same, obviously hearing them through the Mamma Mia cast compared to ABBA but it's just so fun and also what I was thinking about with that is that I was pretty much brought up obviously listening to ABBA but also listening to Mamma Mia they were both very often played side by side interchangeable we had the CD since it came out so we would listen to it in the car all the time or at home or anywhere so for me when I heard those songs sung by the Mamma Mia cast I didn't mind it so much because I was just so used to it but obviously with these new songs I'm so used to hearing them as ABBA all my life that hearing them with a 
different cast is just a different experience and I don't think I can enjoy it as much simply because I'm so used to the original. I still love it, don't get me wrong. And all I could think was I would die to be in one of those movies one day if they do a third one. Even if I'm an extra in the very back, no one sees me, I'm busy folding socks, I don't know. That would be incredible. I just, ah, oh, I think it would just be such a great set and movie to work on. There's enough ABBA songs to do a third and hey, Hit me up. Okay, this video again is 11 minutes long. I've done so many long videos in the last like three weeks and I've just got to sit and work through them. Oh, and another thing I need to do just before I finish up this video is I need to cook tonight. So luckily we've got some stuff ready in the fridge and I just need to cook a vegetable because my sister's gonna cook meat. But I need to do that before I leave so that the rest of my family can be fed. Also, absolutely not gifted or anything, but Disney mugs are the best. They're so big and they're so great and they're so lovely and just make me happy. Okay, one last thing and then I promise I'll stop. The very funny thing to me though is that this mug I bought in the Disneyland shop in Hong Kong airport, which is the same place where my friend bought me my Winnie the Pooh mug. She bought it for me as a gift one year, I don't remember when. And I actually went with her. I think I put a video up on this channel somewhere. But we went back because we did a bit of traveling together and we both just happened to fly via that same airport. And so we were waiting for it to open so I could buy myself this beauty. Okay, now I'm gonna go for real. Bye!